Hey guys, welcome back to the Extreme One Chunk of Arlemar Edition. If you have not seen Episode Zero, I highly recommend you do so. It breaks down the rules of my Chunk series, as well as any expectations moving forward regarding the release of this content. With that out of the way, let's jump into Episode One and get into what we have to do in our first Chunk. During Episode Zero, I did do a fast forward of me exploring the Chunk, but I'll give a brief idea of what we have uh, in store shortly. Before I get started, though, there's a few things I want to say. First, with respect to Chunk Picker V2, it's a web-based chunk lock wet dream, essentially. It's amazing. It helps you understand what tasks are required in your current chunk, as well as helps you roll the next chunk once you're finished. At the time of this recording, Chunk Picker V2 is not up to date with the Varlamore content, as it's not expected to be. And given that it's fresh and new, I don't expect it to be available for quite a while. What does that mean for us, really? Well, it means we got to do most of the work manually to start until we get that updated, and then we'll transfer everything over and make sure we're up to date on that service. It's likely we're going to miss some tasks along the way. So if you know of something that I've missed, please do speak up. Tell me in the comments, and we'll make sure we add it and get it done ASAP. For this chunk, I'd say we have four categories of tasks to complete. Those are combat, thieving, cooking, and best in slot. They're not in any particular order, but it is an overall list so that we can see what we have to do complete. For combat, we need to kill all chunk uh, enemies in this chunk. In that case, what we see is rats, imps, buffaloes, and guards. Moving on to thieving, we have to do citizens or tourists. They're the same as men and women. Uh, we've got a farmer who does isn't actually in my chunk, but I'm going to want seeds because we're right next to a farming patch. So... I'm going to wait until he comes into my chunk and do a little bit of that anyways. Next, we have a guard. And then lastly, we have a uh, house robbery, which I'm not sure exactly what it is, but when interacting with some NPCs in the game, they say you need 50 thieving to start uh, house robbery. So we'll see what that is. After that's unlocked, we'll see what we can do. If we get items or rewards from it, we'll add those tasks as needed. But we won't hit that bridge until we at least understand what house robbery is and see what kind of rewards we get, if anything. It might be just XP. Next, we get into cooking. What do we have in the chunk for cooking? Buffaloes drop raw beef, so we'll, we'll end up cooking that. We've got a potato spawn. We'll pick it up from the table and cook that. And then we have a cornfield. We need to cook uh, sweet corn. That's going to be actually a, a big chunk task. Then after that, we'll get into best in slot. What do we have for best in slots? It's pretty basic, actually. We've got a couple items that we need to get in the shop. Um, we've got a blue wizard hat we need to get from an imp, and we have an iron dagger that we need to be able to get from a guard. Now that the progression-based items are out of the way, we'll look into quests and diaries. It appears like there's no quests that start in this current chunk, and also there doesn't seem to be any achievement diaries for Varlamore. I'm not sure if I'm blind, <laughs> Or if they just haven't been released and they're waiting for the remainder of Varlamore to come out before they uh, create that diary list. But it looks like there's nothing that we have to do yet for quests or diaries. Alright, I apologize ahead of time. There's a bunch of this content and to be frank, 100% of it is going to be voiced over. I'm still working on getting audio channels set up. So my recordings all have copyright music in the background that I listen to in my free time. But with that said, enough for the logistics. Let's get into some chunk content and see what we can do in our first episode. I see no better place to start than what I said before. Let's go to a brief breakdown of what's in this chunk. There are multiple item drops in this chunk, including a potato on the table in this little house in the northeast side of our chunk, a piece of cheese on this barrel on the south end side of our chunk, a piece of silk, a ball of wool, both which are upstairs in Floria's clothing shop. It's worth mentioning while we're here. She sells some things. We'll look into it a little bit later, but those are our best in slots. On the southwest side of town, there's this building. Upstairs, we've got a rope and a box trap. I can't actually pick up the box trap because it says I'm an Iron Man. I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't understand the game enough, but we'll end up getting this at a hunter shop down south, I assume. And lastly, next to the buffaloes, we have this pie dish. It's worth noting, the guards are also right next to us. They're kind of through this gate. It's just worth doing so I don't have to do it again. But this is where the guards are. While we're outside the walls, we might as well look at the fields that we have available. 
right next to the buffaloes, we have this wheat field, but we can't really do anything with it yet because we don't have a mill. Oh, yeah, obviously, we have this field of buffaloes that we're going to kill later. Oh, yeah, it's not really a field, but there is nettles everywhere in this chunk, at least outside the walls. I can't really do anything with them because I don't have access to a bowl, but it's worth noting, and maybe we can use them in the future. On the other side of the buffalo field, we also have a cabbage field, and next to that we have a corn field. Down by these fields, there's also some few a few imp spawns, so we'll end up using these to be able to get the blue wizard's hat down the road. And to be honest, that's pretty much it. For now, I think we're just going to sit here uh, at this rat and just get some early combat levels. But I guess we'll just get into a little bit of a montage. Alright, after that montage, we're at level 5 base for combat. We're going to try to kill Buffalo. Let's see what happens. I guess it makes the most sense before we try and kill our Buffalo, we at least get a full inventory or at least some cabbage to try to help us. Alright, let's give this a shot. Let's first switch to accurate. Make sure we can hit as much as possible and I'll update you when we get going. Alright, if I'm going to be honest, this is not working out so well. I think I'm going to have to switch over to kick and try to flinch. And see what happens. This thing was just annihilating me though. Alright, we did it. It did take about 4 minutes to get this kill. I don't really think it's worth it at the moment. It takes a bit too long. I think we can get a little more efficient before we come back here and make it a full time thing. Let's instead bounce back and forth between killing imps and rats. Since after all we really do need that blue wizard's hat. Might as well use the imps when they hit 0 early on. And I guess along the lines of doing what makes sense. I guess before we do that, let's go back and qu quickly pickpocket a citizen or tourist and get enough coins just to get the best items that are inside our shop. Alright, now that we got 78 coins, let's go get some upgrades. Okay, I got some upgrades. I bought a red cape, a white apron, just for fun, leather gloves, leather boots, and of course a black skirt. Now I think it's time. We go back, kill some imps, might try to flinch a buffalo here and there just to see what happens. I didn't get any attack bonuses from any of this best in slot items, but I don't know. Makes me look cool. Maybe I've got some extra confidence. Oh, nice. There we go. The infamous chef's hat. I don't think this does anything for our account, but it's kind of nice to have. Either way, this is probably going to take a while, so let's queue up the montage. that grind we got some dough to help with cooking as well as some raw chicken also got some other things that don't help us currently but probably will in the future things like shears a hammer bucket and tinderbox also we got the elusive blue wizard's hat that's one best in slot item down now that we've got our stats up a bit and of course we look amazing might as well try and kill another buffalo and see where we stand all right that kill actually wasn't too bad Let's go get the leftover cabbage and meat from our bank and see if we can do a trip. Alright, we did good enough. I'm going to switch over to do buffaloes. I'm basically just going to swap back and forth between this cabbage field and killing buffalo back and forth. Once I get a little bit of meat, we'll go cook it and kind of just rinse and repeat. But that does mean instead of just a combat montage, now we get to mix in some incredible cooking content. Let's get it done. Quick break, now that we have level 7 cooking, I'll get some potatoes and use them instead of cabbage because they heal for 4 instead of 1. Either way, back to the montage.
now we have 28 cooking. Let's finish up the cooking task, grab the sweet corn we have in the bank, and let's see if we can finish this task once and for all. Oh my goodness, that took all six pieces of the corn that I had, but we did it. Chunk task complete. Now that we've got the cooking task done, let's make one last stop for this episode before we move on. Let's try to get that iron dagger from those guards. And boom, there it is. KC6. Some would say I got spooned, but we'll take it. All right, let's update the progress tracker and see what we've got left to do. I feel like we did pretty good for the first episode. We finished all of our combat progress, started with our thieving, although barely, also finished all of our cooking and got all of our best in slot items. That puts us at 11 of the 14 things that we have here on this list. That's really not too shabby. Next episode, we'll start and hopefully finish the thieving grind, figure out what the housing robbery is. But until next time, thanks for watching and see you later.